Almost exactly a year ago, we had a chance to test the LG C9 OLED TV, which was widely regarded as the best TV of 2019. There are many reasons for that, as C9 was truly a complete package of picture, sound, innovative technologies, design and everything else we expect from a premium device. Besides some things we'd rather forget, 2020 also brought us a successor to this awesome TV in the form of a new CX series, which is no longer a surprise, but something we have great expectations for. C9 OLED users have been very vocal about their good experiences with their units, so CX has attracted a lot of attention from the start. We have received a 55-inch version of this TV, labeled OLED 55CX 3LA, which is a variety for some European markets and is pretty much the same as some other versions that differ in free last letters. This TV is priced at nearly 1900 euros, certainly not cheap, but all the technology is still fairly expensive to make, though it also has some advantages which, at least until we see some mini and micro LED models, make it superior to all forms of classic LCD panels. We'll get into those later, but for start let's see what LG delivered this time. Interestingly, if you saw this TV beside models from two previous years, you'd probably have a hard time telling which is which. Reason for this is a very similar design, which we have absolutely no complaints about, so no changes were really required. LG has obviously hit the right balance between the high class elegance and simplicity and sticks to it while the changes are being made mostly under the hood. The stand once again consists of a massive main piece which extends behind the TV and has an integrated cable management, while on the front we see an aluminium piece which gives TV its visual identity. Of course, you can also mount the TV on the wall via VESA 300x200 mount. The panel frame looks like a one-piece 2mm wide steel wire and is the same width from the front as from the sides. Since the OLED panel requires no backlight, the TV's profile is only about a millimeter wider and for the most part is covered by a brushed metal which looks quite nice and high-tech. The bottom part of the back is wider since it houses the electronics and connectors which are separated into two sections just like on the C9 one oriented towards the back and one towards the side. In those you'll find optical and headphone audio outputs, LAN port, antenna and satellite connectors, three USBs, a card slot and four HDMIs. Those HDMIs are one of the most interesting aspects of this TV since once again they are version 2.1 which we expected to be adapted faster by other manufacturers as well but that didn't happen. Not only does it support 4K input at 120Hz, which future owners of new PlayStation and Xbox consoles would definitely appreciate, but LG also made an effort to go beyond the variable refresh rate supported by the HDMI 2.1 standard and managed to support NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync as well. Saying that this is fantastic is an understatement, since those features make this not at all cheap TV a super cheap alternative to NVIDIA BFG display devices which cost like 3500 or 1400 euros. When you also factor in the fact that OLED is practically perfect for gaming due to its low response times, this TV is definitely a long term solution for a large screen console and PC game. We have measured the input lag of about 13.1 milliseconds, which is pretty much the standard for LG TVs, and low enough for pleasant gaming experience even in competitive games. This CX model is equipped with LG's latest 55-inch OLED panel with 4K resolution and true 10 bits per color channel, which allows it to reproduce an impressive 95.4% of DCI-P free spectrum, as our measurements have shown. It seems that the maximum pixel brightness has also been improved over the last year's C9, so the CX is able to reach about 800 nits in certain parts of the scene, which looks really good in HDR content with big contrast between the shadows and highlights, like for instance when the sun is protruding between the leaves of the trees. In very bright scenes, however, it won't really blow you away, so in that regard Quantum Dot LCD models still have an edge over the OLED. Since OLED has a true zero black level, the contrast is mathematically infinite and subjectively the image looks absolutely impressive. Besides that, displaying fine bright detail on a dark background is something that only OLED can do right, which is why it looks as if this TV has a more detailed image than a VA or IPS panel with the same resolution. We should mention really good viewing angles as well as low reflections even though the screen surface is completely smooth. As for the image quality, LG traditionally has a good factor image calibration, as is the case this time, so we measured a very good average delta E deviation of 2.6. 
Besides Vivid and Sport modes, which offer a bit more fun-looking image, there are also Cinema and Game modes, ISF Expert Dark and Bright modes, which we're used to seeing on LG's TVs, as well as a new Filmmaker mode, which reminded us of Panasonic's current models and their Hollywood team. The goal of this mode is to faithfully display movie content like it was intended to look, and we have to say we like this mode very much, especially in its HDR variety, which was probably the best looking HDR mode we have seen so far on any TV, with natural but visually pleasing image. LG has also gone a step further and implemented the AI, or machine learning, which if you activate it will analyze the scenes before they are displayed on the screen, and adjust the display to offer an optimal color contrast and lighting for each scene. This feature is not just a gimmick, but actually works well, so we have to give praise to LG since this is the exact kind of stuff that separates the big brands and creates an added value for their customers. Another feature in the same line are the very good picture processing algorithms, especially those for smooth motion display and image scaling, which in combination with 120Hz refresh rate works pretty well. Overall impression is stunning, even if we did have high expectations from this TV. Now, it's not all daisies and roses, since we did notice something weird during our color tests, when the rectangle in the middle of the screen, which changes colors during the test, remained visible even when the test was done, and the screen should be dark. There was a light image retention, which fades after about 10 seconds, which we would not attribute to OLED burning effect, but rather to some badly set panel parameter, which is probably fixable via software update. We saw something similar recently on some IPS monitors, and it's only noticeable in very specific case, not in real use, so it's not much of a problem. By the way, previous LG OLED models showed that OLED burning is rarely a problem for home users, even after a longer period of use, so we assume that would be the case with CX as well, which, as its predecessors, has various features implemented that should prevent the problem from happening. The sound quality is also at a high level, with very good reproduction of even the fairly low frequencies and a really solid sound. You also get a bunch of predefined modes which are well suited for specific sources like music or movies, and there's also an AI mode, which in this case did not leave the same impression it did with image, because it seemed it has a tendency to overboost some parts of the spectrum. But sound is a matter of taste, so I'm sure some of you might actually like this a lot. Either way, every user will find the mode which is suitable to his or her own preference. For those who like to tweak, there's a 5-band equalizer and an option for automatic adjustment depending on whether you're using the TV on the stand or mounted on the wall. There's also an AI tuning feature, which uses a microphone on the remote to measure the room's response and adjust it to reference so that you get a more natural sound. Of course, the surround options are also not omitted, so there are Dolby Atmos and OLED surround options at your disposal for creating a more cinematic atmosphere. Another advantage of LG's TVs is surely their WebOS operating system, which, together with Samsung's Tizen, is the best you can get in terms of user experience. True, Android does have higher quality games and apps, but WebOS is far more refined and suited for TV use, while still having a good selection of most important apps, including key video services and many local apps depending on your country of purchase. As for some more specific features, there's an art gallery which displays images and artwork when you're not watching the TV, as well as an interesting sports alert function which will let you select your favorite NBA, NHL or European football teams and get scheduled and alerts when the game is on TV. WebOS on this model has reached version 5.0 and looks quite attractive, yet practical and simple to use. Along the bottom edge of the screen there are cards with all the apps and shortcuts, and for each of them you select, the line above will appear, showing additional options, connections and content suggestions for video services. This feature also uses AI, so the TV will create suggestions based on your viewing habits. Along the left edge of the screen there is also a quick pop-up menu, which will let you adjust all the most commonly used options, which is a very useful detail. If you need deeper editing, the full menu offers an impressive collection of options to tweak to your liking. Controlling the TV is done via LG's Magic Remote, which works by moving the remote in space like a 3D mouse and offers a very intuitive and precise control that you will get used to very fast. Even though we've seen some simpler solutions from other competitors which offer an equally good experience, Magic Remote does provide a much easier and faster typing on a screen keyboard when you want to search for a video or enter a web address or a password. All in all, CX series does not bring a revolution, but more like a quiet evolution of C9 models, which is to be expected since it's hard to make big improvements to something that is already really good. LG OLED 55 CX is a brutally good TV in all aspects, so even with a few tiny flaws, it absolutely deserves our Editor's Choice Award, since there's no better TV in sight at this moment. Personally, I'd gladly see it in my living room, but let me know in the comments below whether you agree with me and your thoughts on this TV. 
We hope you liked this review and that you enjoyed it enough to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting reviews. You were watching Bench House, my name is Ivan and I'll see you next time.